Lee Lewis, director of That Face. What is That Face? That Face is an extraordinary play by Polly Stenham, a 19-year-old writer out of London. Well, she was 19 when she wrote the play. She's a bit older now. Uh, she's an extraordinary young talent in the British writing scene, and this play is her first play. It's our first vision, really, of, of Jen Y's ability to criticise the baby boomers. One of the things I like about the play so much is that it's audacious. It doesn't tread lightly around the subject. It really launches into it with a kind of terrifying um, gusto. How did you find um, dealing with these kind of subjects that are, that are frankly confronting and taboo uh, in the rehearsal room? It was a difficult process for everybody involved. It pulled so much personal information out of you. It, most, most people in the room hadn't lived in any sort of environment like what's described in the play, but it's a play about cruelty within the family. Mm. When, you, when you know each other so well and you, on some level, love each other, but love has become a very twisted thing, mm. how capable we are of, of inflicting huge damage very easily if we want. Mm. This is actually about the children having to deal with the consequences of, of their parents' actions their entire lives. Mm. There's no closure. Mm. There's no ending that says maybe they'll be okay. You look at these two kids who are going to spend the rest of their lives trying to unpick their parents' choices so that they can possibly have a normal relationship and the chances of that are so slim. And what, what's interesting is that Polly doesn't offer a way out. Mm. She offers the next lie. Mm. This great last line that says we're okay. I think that the characters all act in a way that they think is the right thing for the situation. And one of the things I really love about your production is that it seems as though those actors playing those characters really do think they are right about the things that they're saying and the things that they're doing. It was really important with all four of the family for them all to feel like they had been the ones wronged. Mm. And that there were actors strong enough to defend the, ri the righteousness of each of those characters. The positions, yeah. The, and that they actually did believe that they'd done the, r the right thing and they've been forced into this situation by the choices of the others. I think it was Tolstoy who said all happy families are, uh, are alike and all unhappy families are unhappy in their own particular way. Uh, and that's true, it's, uh, nobody's family is precisely like that, but everyone recognises something about the, dis the dysfunction of it. And then you add alcohol and pills into it, yeah. and you start to see what damage the, that disease of dependence can actually do to a family structure, which is already codependent. Yeah. When it becomes clinical codependence, what can start to uh, unravel. That's right. But no, if we, I, I mean, it's easy to forget when you're in the rehearsal room the extraordinary range of experience that this group of actors has. Mm. Some of our finest Australian actors, mm. all in one room and mm. on stage for a huge amount of time. Mm. I mean, Susie yeah. at one point said to me, you know I'm actually on stage for most of the play. I said, yeah, are you OK with that? <laughs> She's like, yeah, of course. Yeah. She said, but that doesn't often happen. No. And I think that uh, audiences are actually really getting to enjoy her incredible range because you get to see so much of her. Mm. Mm. I mean, it's not just a scene here and a scene there. Mm. She's on the stage, and in the Belvoir space, you're so close. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, this as this maniac that she plays careens by. <laughs> you know, I mean, people are actually getting bits of her sweat. It's not a, necessarily a glamorous place, the front row of this play, but but you can just see people leaning back as this t Titanic performance is right there. You know, it's, it's, it's human and huge at the same time.